medieval handwriting or paleography. An overview of number typeface created from a place value with the use of a small abacus. And the logic underlying the writing of Al-Khwarizmi digits. This small customized abacus can be used to count in base 10 and base 5. The beads of the upper deck are used to count in base 10. So, each bead in the upper deck is worth 10. The beads of the lower deck are used to count in base 5. So, each bead in the lower deck is worth 5. This bead has a value of 10. This is the paleographic way the digit of 10 is written. It is written by circling a bead with a value of 10. These beads also have the value of 10. And this is the paleographic way the digit 9 is written. The first step is the circling of a bead with a value of 10. But this value can be decreased by the addition of a downward slanting line. So, the medieval handwriting or paleography subtracts a single digit number or a descending line from the whole tens number. This bead represents the value of 10. And this is the paleographic way the digit 8 is written. One begins by circling a bead with the value of 10. Then two downward slanting lines are added, reducing the value to 8. So, the medieval handwriting subtracts two descending lines from the whole tens number. The digit is completed by joining the lower ends of the two lines. This bead has a value of 5. So, this is the paleography from the whole number 5. The writing of the digit 5 is begun by drawing the beam of the abacus, followed by the drawing of the rod descending to the bead. The digit is then terminated by partially circling the bead itself, which has the value of 5. This bead also has the base value of 5, but a line slanting upward has been added. So, the medieval handwriting adds one ascending line from the value of the whole number 5 to format the digit 6. This is the cursive tracing for the number 7. This bead with a base value of 5 has been modified by adding two lines slanting upwards. So, the medieval handwriting of adds two ascending lines from the value of the whole number 5. The digit of 7 is written by first drawing the beam of the abacus and then tracing a line slanting downwards to the bead. Initially this line followed the outline of the bead. But with time a modification led to the use of a line. Tangential to the bead, slanting up to cut the original ascending line. This Latin form of the digit 7 with an ascending line cutting the original descending line was simplified by removing its cutting line. This is the way the fourth digit is written, with four angles in the shape of a cross. So, this is the cursive tracing for the number 4. Here you see the distinction between the format of a cross and the figure formed with the addition of another line, which can be slanted or vertical. This is the way the third digit is written, with three angles. So, this is the cursive tracing for the number 3. This is the way the second digit is written, with two angles. So, this is the cursive tracing for the number 2. This is the way the first digit is written, with a single angle. So, this is the cursive tracing for the number 1. This is the cursive tracing for the 0. The 0 glyphs are descended from the Indian Brahmi numerals.